Now let's examine how easy it is to run a different type of rotary motor made by Yaskawa. Direct drive motors are unique because in many cases they can replace gearboxes. A direct drive motor is a high torque, low speed motor that is ideally suited for many applications, such as indexing tables. So let's start by opening up the Mechatrolink driver setup utility. Click on the Detect Nodes button. After a few moments, the servo drive and motor fields will be populated over the network. This is possible since the Sigma Direct motor employs a smart encoder that allows the motor data to be shared over the network. It has detected our Sigma amplifier, SGDVR90F11A, and our motor, which is an SGMSC model 02, which is a 200 watt direct drive motor. When we look at the alarms tab, we notice that there are no alarms and our over travels have been disabled. Now let's click on the tuning tab. We are connected to Axis 1. We are running the tuning less function enabled, which means we have enabled the real-time adaptive tuning of Sigma 5 servo drive. The tuning less level is set to 4, the stiffest, because we have no load connected to the motor. The load level is set to 1, since we are running in a zero load for this example. Now we will turn the servo on. The amplifier is now enabled. Let's take a look at the test move we have set up. We will go 10 revolutions at 100 RPM. Let's click Start Move and you see the motor moving. If we'd like to reverse directions, click on Forward Reverse and now the motor moves in reverse. Now let's close down the setup utility completely so we can check out a sample program. Let's open a program example included with the Mechatrolink driver. Let's choose Simple One Access Example Program. LabView 8.5 opens and now is showing the front panel of the Simple One Access Program. Let's enter Servo Address 2. Let's also change revolutions per second to 100 and revolutions to 10. Clicking on the Lab View Run button starts the direct drive running at the speed and revolutions we just selected. If we'd like to change directions, we simply add a minus sign to the 10 revolutions data field and click Run, and now the motor will run in the opposite direction. This front panel was created to be a simple user interface. Let's take a look under the hood to see what is actually making this motor run. We move our cursor over the Window tab, then click on Show Block Diagram. This will show the Lab View code. Let's turn on the light bulb mode, which will slow down the processing, but will give us a step-by-step -step look at what's happening. Click the Start Run button, and you'll see it pass through the various functions until the servo motor starts running. This has been a quick and easy example of how to use LabVIEW to run a direct drive motor powered from Yaskawa Sigma 5 servo drive amplifier connected to a Sigma 2 direct drive motor. Give us a call or visit our website if you would like more information.